hello everyone so today we are going to see about the rest template and also we will see one of the method of rest template that is get for entity so rest template is a class that support writing spring based consumer application that makes http calls like get put post delete in this video we will see how we can make a http get call using a rest template so here we will use the consumer application and producer application in the consumer application basically we use this rest template you know to consume the this get put post so so the consumer app must be a spring boot app where we are using rest template otherwise we cannot use rest template if the consumer application is not a spring boot application rest template just makes a http request and gets a http response http response is stored in this response en entity consumer needs producer endpoint details that is the url http method input type output type header parameter so here here is the example so let's suppose this is a producer application this is also a spring boot application and here one have a method this get emp on the basis of id it will return the emp now this endpoint i want to consume so that's why we will create one consumer application and by using a rest template we'll call to this endpoint and we'll print the response by using rest template first step is we have to in order to consume in order to use the rest template we have to create a producer application here i will be using sts go to the sts go to the new go to the spring startup project here we have to use the producer application which will be having lombok on web dependency click on next click on finish so the producer application is now created now go here right click on this go to the new go to the package create here one entity here i will be creating one entity with the name employee which will be having the two fields that is variable private integer id private string name i will be annotating it at the at the data to get at the get to generate a get transactor method at the all our constructor and no our constructor to create a constructor next step is right click on this go to the new go to the class here i will be creating one controller called employee controller which will be inside the package called controller annotate it with the rest controller also with the request mapping here i will give the url as employee here we will be creating one endpoint like we have seen string find emp its return type will be response entity of employee so extension of this is extension of http entity that adds on http status code used in the rest template as well as in the controller method so this is the example they have given for the <coughs> rest template you can see now here i will be using get mapping find either here i will give at the we'll use at the path variable integer id i forgot to give slash after this now return new response entity of employee here will be employee with the whatever id will came 
and name I will hard code that is that and uh, HTTP status I will give you will as a status dot ok save this now I will test this right click run as spring boot app So here in a postman, this is a get method, HTTP localhost colon port number employee find an ID one I am giving, one and same is coming. Let's go back here, stop this application. We will be creating consumer app as well. So I will change here a port number as 8081, save this. Now it's time to create a consumer application. Go to file, go to new, go to spring starter project. Here we'll be creating consumer application. Here we'll be using spring bag and Lombok. Next finish. producer application is completed it's time to go for consumer application we have to create employee test runner ok go here this is a consumer application go here right click on this go to the new go to the class create a employee class inside package entity create variables private where is integer id private string name and the red data to get term and set term matter all as constructor no rx constructor right click on this go to the new go to the class employee employee test runner inside runner ok implements command line runner why we are taking this after the application is running we have to execute the logic whatever that is given in the method of this run it will execute ok now i have to consume the this by using rest template i will go here first is url string url will be like this now create rest template object rest template rt equals to new rest template control shift of import now for the gate calls here this is uh, gate mapping right for that one inside rest template we have a method called get for entity so let me copy this go here paste here control shift off for importing here we have to give the url and this entity name so this get for get for entity retrieve an entity by doing a get on a specified url the response is converted and stored in the response entity URI template variable are expanding using the URI variables. Okay. Now I will print here a sys out response dot body. Let me copy this. I think I have missed this response. Response dot get body. 
we should get like this now in order to test this first we have to run this producer application it is running on port number 8081 and for the consumer application in the port will be 8080 it will be default one so i will run the consumer application after running a consumer application what will happen this logic inside run will be executed here we have string the url rest template and we are calling this and we are printing here a body so inside console we should get the body right click run as spring boot app if i expand this here we got a error not found the path employee find one okay let me see what is the problem this path is not found for him there might be some typo okay if i go here inside a producer okay employee let me copy this and check whether it was working okay why it is not working let me see oh i think the port number i have given is yeah it should be 8081 we have like for the producer the port number is 8081 that's why it is not running let me rerun this run as a spring boot application yep we got it let me expand this where is that expand yep yeah here we go one and sam is coming right so this is the way you can use a rest template and we have seen how get for entity is being used on this rest template in the further videos we'll see another method of rest template so if you like this video you can hit like button and subscribe to our channel